In this video, we will go through how you can set up a notification center for your users with Slack. Right? So, ideally, you want to give them a place for them to connect and authorize your application. And once the application has been authorized, you want them to select a channel and be able to send an automated response to their Slack channel of choice. Right? This is the ideal situation where you want your users to be able to receive notifications from your app. Right? So let's go ahead and see how you can set this up in Bubble. Right? We just start with a simple blank slate here. We go under plugins search for path fix now for this you would need to add two plugins the first is the path fix connector design element and the second one we would need to install is the slack connector the path fix connector design element essentially allows you to add the UI element which is the connect button so let's go ahead and set up the design. We select path fix connector and add that. We can change the size and the design of it. It is completely intuitive and responsive so you don't really need to worry about the design side of the button. And make sure you select slack. Go to preview. You will now see the Slack Connect button rendered. You can of course change the size of it, make it smaller to fit the space that you want it to be in. Great. Now what we do is we go ahead and add the option for step 2 as well, which is the ability for them to choose the channel. So here we do a simple drop down, which is drag and drop that there. There we go. Select placeholder text. We'll just simply call this select channel. The choices would be dynamic because we want it to pull from the Slack channel. We get Slack channels. The source is from an external API is get channel. The user ID would always be the current user's unique ID. Get channel. Current options name is what we go with. All right, let's preview it. So now let's go ahead and connect. We authorize the app. Great, it's connected and now you see all the channels for that particular user. Right, so what we want to do is now build in some sort of uh, workflow that will allow us to trigger and send a message. In this we'd quite simply just do uh, when the condition is true. We'll say when the drop down has selected value is not empty. What we wanted to do is send the message to the channel. Again, the user ID would be the unique user ID for the user, current user. The channel would be dynamically inserted. We'll select it from the drop down, the value that we got. And the message can be whatever you want to send. In this case, we'll just leave it at hello from Pathfix. Great, let's preview this right now. And if I select general, I would receive the notification. 
you can of course go ahead and set up any kind of um, automation that you want including send out a notification if there is a status change in their account or if you simply want to send them a notification about their account. You can also completely white label the plugins to show your connector and your app requesting for the authorization by simply creating an account with Pathfix and adding your client ID and secret there and copying the ID, the keys from Pathfix onto your bubble plugin.